Well, Torrey Hunter spent 12 of his 19 Major League seasons with the Twins, and he now serves as a special assistant to baseball operations there in Minnesota. He joins us now on SportsCenter. All right, dude, you just retired, what, two years ago? How jealous are you right now that the Twins are about to play a wild card game later tonight? Not jealous. I'm happy. You know, I'm, I'm still a part of the Twins family, and uh, I'm excited to see those guys get there, man. They, they deserve it. You know, the, the beginning of the season, nobody had those guys – uh, even in mentioned in the playoffs. And these guys, man, they took over first place for three months, the first three months of the season. And, you know, they had some rough times in the middle, but they were res resilient and fighting. And Byron Buxton found his way. Uh, Rosario found his way. And uh, Santana just leading that bullpen, I mean, the, the start of rotation. I think uh, these guys are, are fighters and resilient, very athletic and talented. And uh, I think they have the heart to go out there and do it. Yeah, you mentioned the expectation because, Tori, this team lost 103 games last season, as you know. They were sellers at this year's trade deadline. Yet here they are making their first postseason appearance since 2010. Who's most responsible for this team making the playoffs this year? Uh, you know what? I think there's just the resurgence of Byron Buxton. Byron Buxton, man, was struggling. I think he was hitting like 180, uh, 190 at the end of June. And he finished the season over 250. I thought that was pretty, pretty impressive. Rosario stepped up his game. We lost Miguel Sano to an injury, you know, almost the last, you know, the last two months of the season. And uh, so I, I definitely think these guys have very, really stepped their game up. And my favorite player is uh, Escobar. Escobar went out there and did his thing. He, he jumped in the place of Miguel Sano when he was injured and, and went out there and did, did great. Uh, Jose Barrios, uh, we had Santana. It's a lot of guys on the field that get the job done. You got guys behind the scene, Eddie Guardado, Paul Molitor, uh, a lot of uh, James Rawlson. These guys have helped them, but the team still has to go out and execute and uh, and do their part. And they did that. They they listened and they went out and applied it on the field and got the job done. And now they get a chance to do it in the playoffs. But several of these guys, though, Tori, will be getting their first taste of the postseason in a win or go home situation. What wisdom have you tried to share with the guys in that regard? Uh, well, just some of the guys, man. I, I, I talked to some, and I just told them, hey, simplify the game. The adrenaline, the, the hype, you know, the fans, you, you get caught up in it, and you want to do too much. What you have to do is just simplify everything because you're playing at Yankee Stadium. You know, don't discredit that place. That place is a lot of history. Uh, the Yankee name has a lot of history. The fans are awesome. And uh, the team, they know how to be really true professionals. But I just think that, you know, the Yankee team of old was – better than this Yankee team today. These guys in the, of old, when we played them, they had Giambi, Jeter, uh, A-Rod. <laughs> I mean, you talk about some of the best players in the, in the game, and they would back up the Brink truck to bring those guys in. And uh, so I, I definitely think this is a different ball club, but at the same time, it's still just to play with the Yankees, that aura, that history, and that fight they have over there and know how to win. I definitely think that's, that's a... Uh, uh, uphill that battle that you have to climb. But these guys are up for the task. I, I think they're pretty much the same. Young team, very talented, uh, uh, willing to fight. Uh, both these guys got this far, get to the wild card, uh, made the Twins win. All right, well, let's talk about this game specifically <laughs> tonight because clearly we know your routine interests are. Uh, Irvin Santana on the mound. He went 5-1 and one over his last 12 starts, but that one loss to where he came in New York, a game in which he gave up Aaron, Rutt, Aaron Judge's 44th home run of the season. So what should Santana's approach to Judge be tonight? Don't let Aaron Judge judge you. You just got to go. You got to kind of stay away from him. I always I feel like most of the guys that does – great during the season. I, I remember playing with Vladimir Guerrero, uh, Miguel Cabrera, they, or, and David Ortiz. If you can just stay away from David Ortiz, you know, let the other guys win. Most of the time in, the, it's in uh, the playoffs, you see a guy that really doesn't do much during the season, but during the playoffs, he, became a, he becomes a hero because you try to stay away from the guy that did damage during the season. So our, our whole goal is not let him beat us or not let him judge us, Aaron Judge, and and, uh, and stay away from him and let the other guys try to do it. If Sounds you can do that and keep that plan, I think we'll be fine. Sounds like a couple walks maybe in Aaron Judge's future tonight at Yankee he Stadium. He better know how to steal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me ask you this, though, about the Twins offense, because in the second half of the season, led the American League in runs per game, slugging percentage, third in extra base hits. Who needs to be the catalyst tonight to get this offense going against Luis Severino? Uh, I think, you know, with, with this ball club, Every day it was somebody else 
somebody else that was doing the job. You, you had Escobar one day, you had Kepler one day, you had Buxton one day. He, he, you know, Brian Dozier, he's the leader. You know, he's a guy who's been around four or five years, and, and uh, this is his first uh, uh, playoff experience. And I definitely think that he really wants it. He's going to have to go in there and be the leader, call a meeting, tell everybody to calm down, go out there, do the smallest thing, because your intentions can be good. You can be pumped up and ready to go. It's that execution that's going to get you through this game. I say that in life as well. Baseball's life. Life is baseball. If you execute, you win. If you got a good intentions with no execution, you lose. So I know you guys are excited to get there, but you got to execute. And I think these guys, the small things bring big victories. And if they can do that, I definitely think that they would get the job done tonight. Tory Hunter was an all-star, a gold glover, and now motivational speaker. With a book coming out soon, it seems like. Lessons in life taught by Tory Hunter, what I learned in baseball. How's that? My album, my album's dropping, 2018. <laughs> bars on bars on <laughs> bars. Tory Hunter, join us here on SportsCenter. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. All right, work on your golf game because you suck. Wow. Blasting me on SportsCenter. I can't wait to get in your pocket and take that money. I can't wait for that. Lisa, get this dude off my screen real quick. Thank you.